Hi friends, today we will discuss the answers for question number 6 and 7 that I have given in my previous video. So those who write the answers can mail it to mainsvisarat at gmail.com. We would character answers by giving importance to those who write them regularly. The sixth question, just pause the video, go through the question. Well, the question talks about the agriculture and how e-technology can be used in the agriculture. It falls under economy and science technology in GLS paper 3. So if you read the question, it has got two statements and then a question. So finally, this is the question. So 70 to 80% of your answer should be on the last part of the question. Anyhow, we have to spend two or three lines to emphasize on the statements given in the question. What is the first statement? They said, the average annual growth rate in real terms in agriculture has remained static in the last six years. So try to prove this statement. This statement has been taken from economic survey 2019 and 20. So economic survey says that agriculture growth in the last six years has been stagnant. If you know the number, you can say that between 2014 to 20 in the last six years, the growth rate of agriculture is less than 3% consistently, which means the productivity, the productivity of agriculture has been hampered seriously. So, the first statement has been proved in the introduction. Similarly, take the second statement. This stagnation in productivity can be addressed by e-technology. Here, you may write one line about what is e-technology and how it is used in agriculture. So, you say that the productivity can actually be improved through, through the e-technology. So you say that e-technology is a convergence, you say it's a convergence of agricultural practice with the internet and related technologies, even the mobile, E and M, electronic and mobile technologies can be used, particularly for, you know, accessing the information. The productivity of agriculture can be improved if the farmers have enough information regarding various things like the weather means the proper weather forecasting, they can get SMS to their mobiles, if they know the right market price and how it is changing, they can plan accordingly their crops. Similarly, the best agricultural practices internationally that can be implemented in India. Similarly, any new pest, if it is coming into India or it has occurred in other states of India, if the farmers can know well in advance of that, they can definitely try to you know, protect their crop from the pests. Similarly, any new fertilizers in the market for a reasonable price and better for their soils. Similarly, the information on the high yield variety seeds more suitable for their soil and any better irrigation methods and soil quality. Even if the government, a new government scheme, new government policy, if it is coming, the farmer should be knowing about how to apply for their government policy to make use of it. Similarly, government schemes, even institutions, many farmers do not even know what are the various institutions they can approach you know, uh, to improve their uh, revenue in the agriculture or to solve their agriculture problems. Similarly, any latest innovations that happened in India or abroad which can be applied to their field, all these are actually information. These information if the farmers can get using the e-technology, it would definitely increase the productivity of agriculture in India. However, this is not directly asked in the question. The question simply uh, gave a statement that productivity can be increased by e-technology. So, you should not spend much space of your answer for writing all these things. Simply write diagram saying that information on these things, just information on these things would definitely improve the productivity. Similarly, you see, actually they did not ask you the reasons for the stagnation of agriculture. But if you can write in one line, you can mention simply that the agricultural growth has been stagnant because of few reasons. You can draw a diagram like this. Because of ineffective use of fertilizers, because of inefficient irrigation, or dependence on the monsoon. You see, the small farmers are unable to access the technology, etc. So, in economy what happens is, students who have more number of points should dump all those points in the limited space. However, they should be cautious that most of the space shall be used for the actual question asked. That is, what is the actual question asked? Discuss the recent e-technology initiatives. This is the thing. See, remember, here they are asking you to discuss the initiatives. If they ask you to enumerate the initiatives, you can write 20 initiatives just naming them. But when they ask you to discuss the initiative, you select some 5 or 6 good initiatives that you know, you discuss them elaborately in 3 to 4 lines each. So here, in this answer, see, 
for example these are the various e technology initiatives taken by the government of india which i have listed here you can choose four or five of them and you can just discuss them in three to four lines for example national agricultural market electronic allows the farmers to access the and consumers and able to sell their products without middlemen in fact contract farming uh, is taking place in india mainly because get they're getting the thrust from the inam similarly if the land records are modernized by the government the litigations will reduce and farmers would be ready to invest more on their land which will improve the productivity obviously similarly a, a initiative called sense agree sense agree you know here actually using the unmanned aerial vehicles using the you know the drones using the drones uh, hyperspectral imaging can be used sensors can be used to understand the crops accordingly agriculture can be planned the same concept hisis actually hisis is a satellite launched by isro which would be uh, understanding the crop productivity and agriculture using spectral imaging and from that farmers can uh, cultivate the crops reasonable for that soil and that climatic conditions based on agro climatic conditions similarly vkc vrc village knowledge centers and village resource centers actually village resource center is a initiative by isro where they link the villages with the agriculture universities universities you know the skill development centers and they gather information from there and give it to the villages whereas village knowledge centers are kind of kiosks centers in the village where any farmer can approach and get information on the latest technology or weather forecast or latest soil testing laboratory available or fertilizer whatever similarly the agropedia has been started by you know uh, indian council of agricultural research they have started this to help the farmers similarly the global gps actually gps can also be uh, used by the farmers having large lands for better planning of agriculture even sandesh pathak application uh, it has been developed by a few iits and you know cdac two or three cdacs and few iits have together uh, you know started the sandesh pathak application means the sms can be read out read out loudly by an app for those farmers who are illiterate who cannot read by themselves same is the concept of mobile seva project even the kisan chopal patna and bihar this kisan chopal has been a great success kisan chopal works closely with the krishi vigyan kendras where the farmers would be brought on the weekends to a common place and they would be trained they will be taught through the videos about latest methods in the farming even the kisan call centers are there which helps the farmers if you know the kisan call center number you can write it because this kind of numbers will actually impress the evaluate however no need to buy all the numbers particularly agriculture number women women cell child cell this kind of things you may buy hard if required even the national telecom policy 2012 says that all the villages in india shall be connected with the internet is a part of you know national optical fiber network okay, uh, so that all the farmers in all the villages can go to computer kiosk centers to access the latest uh, uh, you know information about the agriculture similarly the kisan credit card smart card you can mention all these things and in the conclusion in this kind of questions what you have to say is in the conclusion you have to say that though the government has you know is uh, implementing several schemes several e technology initiatives there are certain lacune you identify the problems don't discuss them just mention them so common problems why these schemes are not working very well are there is no good connectivity of internet in the national i mean rural areas of course for which nofn has been uh, uh, planned even the costs involved are high for e technology the, the cost is high even uh, the most of the farmers are not literate for, forget about computer literacy they don't have literacy also and even there is a great digital divide in india so some places for example punjab haryana the, in the, in the, uh, these places the uh, digital availability is more whereas in uh, uh, sikkim or maybe in some part jharkhand chatisgarh there is no access to internet at all so digital divide is there in india and in india 87% of the farmers are small and marginal farmers for whom most of the technologies may not be directly helpful so you know to discuss all these things just draw a diagram and finally conclude optimistically you simply say that these problems can be solved by nofn and uh, give some suggestions if you want to give suggestions and conclude the answer in that note the next question question number 7 see this question actually is about the uh, internal security general studies paper 3 pause the uh, video read the question for 10 seconds then come back okay if you observe here in this question also i have given two statements the first statement is communication networks are a part of critical information infrastructure 
second statement is the threats are both through the communication network as well as to the communication network second statement then i came to the actual question in this context evaluate various steps taken by the government in making these communication networks more secure so like every answer the last part is actual question for which you have to spend 80% of your space and time anyhow in the introduction we should justify the first two statements as simply as possible in few lines for example let's take the first statement communication networks are a part of what critical information infrastructure statement you, you justify it you say you, you tell why they are a part of critical information infrastructure why see you can say that the information technology act 2000 clearly mentions that any threat to the communication network will impact not only national security but also economy the safety public health etc so you are actually trying to mention a law a fact and trying to justify why it is critical also you, you tell that this is crucial this is critical because communication networks are connected to several other critical infrastructure for example the aviation shipping the railways oil and gas nuclear banking you know the intelligence intelligence organizations whatever so all these are actually a part of critical infrastructure and all these are connected to communication networks so any effect on the communication network will affect all these other critical infrastructure of india in that way you justify the first statement now come to the second statement they're saying that threats can come to this both through the network and to the network you again try to explain that statement in two lines what do you mean by threats to the network to the network means the communication network the communication infrastructure cell phone towers the optical fibers all these things can be affected can be damaged by the anti-social elements or the enemies that is called threats to the network to the network maybe terrorist attack or naxal attack whatever that is threats to the network threats to through the network through means these anti-social elements enter into the network they will use these communication networks to affect the other things for example by hacking by phishing you know by sending viruses worms you know uh, uh, by other uh, uh, technical means these terrorists or anti-national elements or the hackers they can use this network and through these network they will enter into our defense networks our banking networks or you know other infrastructure the aviation or nuclear oil and gas and they can affect those things also that is the meaning that is different between threats to and threats through the network finally coming to the actual question what are the various steps taken by the government to secure our communication networks if you see that see again here the question clearly says evaluate evaluate the steps taken by the government you cannot just write the steps but you have to evaluate them see for evaluation you don't have to spend much time just one line just one line write about the steps taken by the government next line write the uh, evaluation means what do you think is it a good measure or there is any problem or you have any suggestion to improve it etc for example uh, some of the steps I, I, I noted here however these many steps you actually cannot write in the exam in the exam you can write some four or five steps based on available of time so for example government of india presently is strictly following the security standards for all the communication networks particularly by taking clues from the european and us organizations they are following the international standards for example security certification is required for every equipment any equipment that is related to the communication network shall pass the security certification in order to come into the market so it's a good step similarly we are making a strong legal and regulatory framework so that any illegal thing that is happening in the communication network can be immediately uh, brought to the law immediately is punishable offense even the corporates cannot be spared then the institutional capacity government of india is creating new institutions you know like the the certs like you know cyber security uh, the centers organizations and even the cdac which is also helping the cert so institutionally laboratories state of art infrastructure we are creating the architecture overall we are developing the institutional capacity to secure our communication networks similarly encryption policy so any sensitive data critical data going through the communication networks shall be encrypted there is encryption policy so that nobody can steal the data even the steal the data they cannot decipher they cannot identify what the data means so encryption policy is there that is a good step in fact to secure the communication networks then central equipment ion register ceir this this has been started only some i think one and a half year back 
this central equipment and register what it does is all the mobile phones used in India are connected to a central database. If any mobile phone is cloned or duplicated or it is, or it is stolen or if anybody complains, they can immediately block that mobile phone. In this way, we can completely control all this communication network using a central database. Then even interception. See, sometimes government may have to intercept the communication in order to identify the threat causing elements, anti-national elements. For that, there is a law means legally government can intercept certain uh, you know communication networks based on the complaints that's important actually even cyber security incidents report system has been created wherein cyber security experts will be immediately alerted in case of any damage occurring to the network or any you know hackers or any virus entry into the system can be immediately identified and blocked similarly sectoral sets actually cert in certain emergency response uh, system has been there throughout India as CERT in. However, CERT banking, CERT financial, you know, CERT health, CERT like that, CERT has been divided into different sectors and all these sectors will collaborate with each other. So the collaboration between different security agencies has been emphasized by government of India. So the information sharing between them can actually help in, uh, you know, securing the uh, communication networks. However, for these kind of questions, in the conclusion, you are right opinion. You can say that though government is trying in different methods, still securing the communication network is not an easy thing. It is difficult mainly because of two reasons. One reason is most of the hardware and software that Indians are using, almost 90% of it is imported from outside countries. So we are dependent on other countries. So different other countries will take advantage of that. Definitely. Uh, technological independence required for India to achieve this one. Even second point is most of these uh, communication networks are in the hands of private companies and friends private companies generally do not try to spend much money for you know the technical auditing and certification they mostly want to cut down the cost because of profit motive. These are the two major reasons why though government is implementing all these policies it is difficult in fact to achieve the uh, secure communication network. However, you can end on a positive note saying that tel National Telecom Policy 2012 addresses both the issues. It says that by 2020, 80% of the hardware and software shall be manufactured within India and any private company has to go through the legal framework set up by the India so that uh, they actually invest in the uh, uh, security infrastructure. However, we should ensure that awareness is generated among the people and the companies and technology should be government should invest in technology you know and uh, uh, people should the, the government employees or officers should be technologically ready to implement the policies otherwise these things would not be working out so in this way you can conclude the answer so two questions for day after tomorrow or this two. Uh, this is a, this is for polity general studies paper two and defection law the other one is moral and political attitude this is general studies paper for ethics ethics so write the answers for these two questions and you can mail them to mains with the gmail.com we would be evaluating answers particularly giving importance to those who write answers regularly thank you friends